Hey there folks, welcome back to Sarah Plays a Thing. I'm Sarah and I'm playing a thing. When we last left, this dude was bobbing around out here, keeping me from doing all the things I need to do today. Well, let me see. I'll just come down here. I'm gonna tempt fate. And I'm going to the desert. Oh, I do have a boat now, don't I? Meh. Use it for the return trip. Okay, well obviously it is still early enough that there could still be creepers. So I need to be very careful. But I'm going to go over here. I have wood on me. I have wood. Okay. <laughs> I got wood. I'm an adult, really. Yeah, I hear a nice wide open area where I can see what's coming at me with my back against something. I'm going to check. No, I do not have. Wait a minute. Can you do that? No. It was worth a try. Right, I'm going to whack down a tree here real quick so I can make me a crafting table to take with me. Because I'm going to do some mining. Because I haven't done any mining in a while. Is that some weird chunk business there? Or is that just the way that thing is shaped? Huh. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to head back closer to the house. And go digging into one of these mountains here. See if Mr. Creeper has gone away yet. Foot lag. Okay. I think it's probably safe. To just hop on in here. Okay. I'm going to put me up a little gate gate here, actually. Let's put this craft to good use. Here we go. Hollow out a little area here. Um, da -dum, what am I doing? That. Make that. I'll plunk that down there. Oh, no, stupid. Oh, perfect. Plunk that down there. Alright, and before I go any further. me a fresh pick. And a chest. In case I get more stuff than I can carry back in one load. Alright, here we go. And do a little bit of digging. I mentioned last episode, I had a pork roast in the crock pot, left it cooking all day, got home, had me some nice pulled pork with a bottle of cider. Good way to end the weekend. I should have made a shot. That's okay. I will just punch this dirt out of the way. So 
very first time I died in survival. Situation very much like this. Digging along, digging along, digging along. Uh, started getting a little dark. I was low on torches. Thought, yeah, I can go a few more blocks without having to put a torch down. I'll be okay. Damned if it wasn't the very next block. I dug down into a cave. I fell. And what the fall damage didn't do, the skeleton took care of. I lost so much stuff. Lost all my coal, all my food. And worst of all, I lost my home because I didn't know what F3 was for at the time. And when I came out of spawn, I went a different direction, I guess. And I could not for the life of me, hey, there's some iron, find my stupid house. It was two weeks before I found that house again. And it was only because I was out lost and wandering around and just happened to go the right direction. So then, at that point, I knew what F3 was for. I came back. I put a historical marker on it. I, I, I call it a house. It was a little hole dug into a mountain. I mean, it was alright for a day one house. Nothing grand. I was planning on eventually kind of hollowing out the whole mountain. But that never happened. By the time I found it again, I had a better place anyway. Let's see, I'm gonna go down here. Let's see, where am I? 39. Okay. Still go a little bit farther down. I want to get down to about Y11 or so. Because that's about where diamonds live. Oh, hey. Okay. I see some iron. Before I do anything else, I'm going to mark this. So I will not get lost. Coal, iron. Seems fairly safe so far. I just have the worst feeling a creeper is about to drop onto my head. up. Oh good, more iron. Oh shit son. Abandoned mine shaft. That is sweet. Of course I'm not going to go down there just yet because that would be suicidal. I am going to get some more of this iron. That's nice. That's nice. So I got seven. I need a little bit more so I can make a chest plate. And I see a little bit more right there. Okay. I see a lot more. I do not like that. There we go. Problem solved. Lots of iron. Sweet. What am I doing? <sighs> okay, I think that's it for that vein. Get that. Get that. Seventeen iron. All right. Head on up. Can I get some coal? I got plenty of coal. What I would like 
to get is some redstone so I can make a clock. So if I am underground forever and ever, I will know. Okay, something's going down. I'm going to throw this in there. I'm going to throw this in there. And I'm going to head on back down. Maybe dip my toe into that mine shaft a little bit. Get some more of that coal. I'll get some of this little bit more easily accessible coal over here. I hear you. Pickaxe, dang. I should have made one while I was up there. Yeah, I'm about to have enough for an iron one. But still, there is a zombie. Just kind of bopping around. If I can get that mine shaft cleaned out, that's going to be really handy. And aside from that, abandoned mine shafts have chests in them that sometimes have really good loot in them. Everything from, oh my god, that's a lot of zombies. Tools and armor, so, well no, not armor. Um, sometimes they have iron in them. I wonder if that's a zombie spawner. Uh, sometimes they have melon seeds, which I'm going to need when I get started with brewing. Because I'm going to need m melons so I can make glistering melons so I can make health potions. I'm seriously wondering if there's a zombie spawner. And zombie spawners are also cool. The bad news is they're full of zombies. The good news is they also have loot in them. And you can kind of neuter them and turn them into nice, safe XP farms. And if I'm really lucky, eventually they'll drop potatoes and carrots. All right. Stand right here. It's still cooking, but I have enough that I can make an iron pick and finish up my set of armor. How about that? I look like Robocop. That's awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and make an iron shovel. I would also like to make a compass, eventually. Let's put the rest of that in there, because I don't need it right this minute. Put that in there, put that in there. Put that in there. Mm, excuse me. Ugh. Let's throw this cobble away. and put that away. Okay, so now if I find some diamonds, I'm set. Just throw that in there. Oh shit, do I have any food? Ugh. Dumbass. Why didn't you bring food? There's a piggy. Nope, I'm actually closer to home than I thought I was, so I'm just going to go home. Let's see, where my food? There's my food. <coughs> Dinner. some food with me. <coughs> I 
also need to plant some of these, the melon seeds that I, l or the pumpkin seeds that I went off and left at the mine. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to worry about that right this second. I'll wait till the sun comes up. I saw an Enderman over there. Eh, you know what? Let's live dangerously. Shorty, no! My cat just decided to hop up in my lap at the worst possible time here. Yes, honey, I see you. I will pay attention to you in just a second. Keep an eye out for creepers. Hello, Mr. Zombie. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna head on back down. And see what I can see. Okay, one thing I really do not want to mess with right now are the cave spider spawners. There are different spiders in the mine shafts. They can poison you. I don't have any milk. You have to drink milk to cure yourself if you get poisoned. So I'm not going to mess with that right this minute. I'm going to head on back up. And I'm going to get my stuff. skeleton out there. To make a run for it. And I'm gonna take that Nope. Fuck it. regret this decision. Okay. Huh. Safe. And look who's following me home. Oh, here he comes. Fortunately, they can't see you through glass, but he's just bobbing along. Singing a song. What kind of songs do creepers sing? I can't even come up with anything right now. Oh, he sees me. Let's see if I can get him onto that cactus. And he is outside. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to call it a day. Hopefully our next episode won't be the last one because I can't see that creeper now and it's making me really nervous. So everybody take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.